Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm just in, uh, just at home. Uh, right, I'm just going to go straight into it, no messing about, is it dark? So I'm going it's all gone dark, man. I don't know. Right. Rocky, I'll take you out in a minute. Right, just sit there. I've got some business to discuss. Right then. Here we go. Uh, Happy New Year. San Miguel. I had to buy these. Jesus. It's, uh, it's getting a bit bad when... Uh, you got to pay for beer at shop in it in your local area. They know I am. Oh, that whiskey. Uh, the mate who I grew up with got me it. Uh, I got two bottles this year. One off Den and one off my mate. Monkey shoulder. It's all right. Uh, right. So. The curious world of Dillian White. People saying to me, Porky, how dare you? How dare you, Porky? How dare I mention Dillian White? People are going to think I'm out of my brains here, Rocky. What do you think? What do you think, Rocky? Are people going to think I'm off my box? Hey. Do you think I'm off my box, Rocky? Hey. Do you think I'm off my box? Do you? Bah. Well, I don't know why you've had your tongue, Rocky. Right. Dillian White. He's WBC number one contender. Is he? Inti? What is he? What, what, what is he doing? You know, he's a talented kid. He's got a world-class trainer. Let's back up a little bit. We had a two-year ban. Whether it were... On purpose or not, two year ban. He's come back out of nowhere and he's fought Joshua for Brit British title. The forgive it pay per view, right? The first pay per view ever in the UK, other than Groves de Gale, to be pay per view but not be for a world title. Uh, now, I might have that wrong. I might have that wrong. I'm not, I'm not bothered if I've got it wrong anyway, I'm all mumbled up, aren't I? Look, point I want to say is this, right? I ain't got a problem with Dillian White or his brother, but let's have it right. Dillian White's got a massive profile, massive. And that's part of the Eddie Earn era, isn't it? Big your profile up. Forget doing anything. Big your profile up and leave us to worry about it. Well, Dillian White's kept his part of the game. He's beating kids. He's 10 and 0 with Mark Tibbs, so he's beating people. And he's had four pay per views. All good. But he's not fought for a European title. He didn't want to fight Cab 8L. He doesn't mention Joe Joyce. He doesn't mention, and Joe Joyce is not wilder. He doesn't mention Lewis Ortiz. And he doesn't mention Daniel Dubois. Daniel Dubois against Dillian White. Two Londoners going at it, 22 year old and a 30 year old, or is he 31? That's what I want to see. I want to see Dillian White. I want to see Dillian White in a proper fight. I don't want to see him fighting Malcolm Sunbed Tan. I don't want to see Dillian White against Malcolm Tan, no. And I don't want to hear any more IFL stories about his brother Wesley Snipe doing a passenger 57 on an aeroplane. Nobody's corroborated the story. It's a load of old cobblers. Are you seriously telling me that a guy is going to try to open the door on an aeroplane and he's got off the aeroplane and he's just walked through in Saudi Arabia and nobody's even so much as give him any community service? Are you having a laugh with me? Hashtag, do me a favour, as the great Frank Warren once said. 
It's a load of old cobblers. I don't believe a word of it. If they can prove it, fair enough. I don't believe that Dean White's Dillian White's brother. If they can prove it, I'll be first and to hold my hand up and I'll say I'm wrong. I'll admit, but I don't believe it. I don't believe he's his brother. I don't believe he wants to fight Wilder. And I don't believe that Wesley Snipes on that aeroplane stopped him because he was trying to open the door. I don't know what it were. I mean, pff, come on. If you so much as fart on an aeroplane going to a beefer, they lock you up when you get off plane. We all security nowadays, and it's going to Saudi as well with Muslims on plane and all that. Come on! You've got people trying to open doors on aeroplanes, they get off at plane and nobody does anything about it. Come on, you're talking to me, you're talking to Big Porky. Think I believe any of that nonsense? Load of crap! Load of crap! But it worked, they've got a profile. I'll give Dean White his jewels though, if that is his second white, second name. He's done well for Shaq and Peters, so. Let me get my uh, Ted Baker hat that Dennis bought me last Christmas. Or was it Christmas before? I know somebody nicked me blue one. I tipped my hat. There you go, hat tipped, Shaq and Peters. I wanna see him fight Craig, P Craig uh, Richards, that'd be a good fight. But let's have it right. Let's let's have it, right, Rocky. Your barking chain chains it uh, thing here. You need to put it on and stop barking when people knock on the door. Okay. No, we'll take it off. We'll take it off because if old Bill knock on the door, I need you barking, don't I? Oh, no, basically what it is. Look, this is how I look at it. In boxing, you've got to look at it like this. Everybody talks knackers. Utter rubbish. I saw Steffi Bull put a tweet out. Somebody sent me a screenshot. Come here. I can't even get on Twitter to fucking say out, oh, can I? I'm kicked off, aren't I? Somebody sent me a screenshot. What do you think to this? Well, Postman in Cunningsborough comes about 3 o'clock. 7 o'clock, Steffi Bull's done 300 tickets. Steffi. You haven't done 300 tickets for Terry Harper. You bought them tickets because you want to work with Eddie Earn. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. I'll tell you to your face. If you didn't, show me. Show me 300 people that have bought them. Stop lying. You're lying to yourself more than anything. Stop it. Stop telling porkies. Stop it, Steffi, please. Because we're bursting our sides laughing in office about that one. Please stop it. It's nearly as good as Dave Allen sells arenas out. Don't worry, that's an even better one, that. Adam Smith told somebody we know is that Dave Allen sells arenas out. Listen, the lies and the bullshit just keeps going on and on and on in boxing, doesn't it? And I ain't got enough hours in day to correct it. Steffi, stop it. David, you're funny, but Steffi, please. You know you didn't do 300 tickets. Stop it. Please stop. Stop, stop, stop. But backing up to uh, Dillian White, world class fighter, he beat uh, Parker, who beat Ruiz, and he's beat uh, Lucas Brown, who were a doorman. Now, before the fight, Luke, Eddie, uh, Dillian White said uh, that Lucas Brown. Uh, but just a tattooed penis and a doorman and he wasn't really a world champion. After he beat him, he said he was a world champion. I beat a former world champion. So it is what it is. He left him on floor. That's what he should have done. That's what I like to see. Dillian White's left duck's probably the most dangerous in boxing. Wilder's right hand is probably the most dangerous right hand. So if you were going to build the perfect fighter, you'd have Dillian White's left duck, uh, Wilder's right hand, Tyson Fury's leg movement, Joshua's six-pack, that's how you'd build it, wouldn't you? And David A's uh, SpongeBob haircut. That would be a perfect boxer, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? With Lomachenko's brain and Carl Frotch's chin. And uh, what, what's, he, what's that guy called now? He always used to go, Jason, who is it? Who fought uh, Dave Allen? Woo, woo, woo! He used to Jason Gavin and Jason Gavin's teeth. 
That'd be perfect boxing, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, do me a favour. It's big porky here. Hashtag levels. Hashtag winning. Hashtag doing bits. How are you doing, Steffi? Doing bits. Steffi, don't forget. Next time you tweet Eddie Earn and you tag him in, remember that Eddie is as advisors around him, Frank Smith, Anthony Lever. When you're tagging Eddie Earn in on a tweet, Steffi, and he's five foot away from you, <laughs> you can tell him, can't you? You could go tell him. So you don't need to tag him in, do you? Why Steffi, can I ask you? Hash can everybody give Steffi Bull a follow at Steffi Bull? Steffi, why did you tag Eddie Earning on them tweets at that other show when he was stood near you when you sent the tweet? I mean, I thought that were amazing, that. That's got to be it. You were obviously doing that as a joke, weren't you, Steffi? That's like me being sat out at a show we sat next to Cherry Tap and Armour and being allowed on Twitter and tag... And tagging at Highfield Boxing, he's my pal. Shout out Highfield Boxing. Shout out at Lead underscore Right, my pal Rico. But it's like me tagging Rico and Terry sat next to him at a show, isn't it? Why would I tweet tweet somebody but tag them in? I don't get that. I don't get that, Steffi. But don't forget, Steffi. On February eighth after the show, don't forget to put after your tweet hashtag doing bits and we'll leave it at that but I've got a corker for you Steffi but we're going to wait a couple of weeks but I'll see you on 10th anyway at Tom Hill's but anyway that's another story we're going off track here point I want to make is this Dillian White don't want to fight Wilder if he did want to fight Wilder he'd sue him wouldn't he you'd sue him wouldn't you don't you think if you're 850 days in top three with WBC, don't you think that you'd have had a title shot by now if you really wanted a title shot? This is how I look at it, right? If I could be the cock of the school, right? if I could be a cock of Edlington Comprehensive when I went there, like most cocks of schools, but not fight the main people, but just knock a few dossers out, you're going to get away with it, aren't you? Why should Dillian White fight Wilder for four million, Joshua for five and a half million. When he can pick up three and a half and f three and three million, fighting people he knows he's going to beat. Now, everybody's in boxing to get to Anthony Joshua. That's the end game, right? This is where I'm going to bring a few people into this. It might cause me problems. Tommy Frank, right? Dennis Glyn Rose and Tommy Frank. Whatever happened, I'm not going to go into it, but he didn't fight Sonny Edwards when he was mandated, did he? Now, what are we in boxing for? What are we in boxing for? Right. We're in boxing to fight for British titles, aren't we? We're in boxing to fight for world titles, so you've got a chance of a British title and you don't take it. Because we want to build it up down the line, but it's not a world title fight, is it? But they've gone in a different direction with Tommy, picking belts up, and he's probably going to fight for a world title this year. So maybe I might have jumped gun there. But Dillian White's got a British title in bank. He didn't want to fight Cabell for Europeans, so the goal is the WBC belt, the green belt, Carl Froch has got two, or... The world title. Now Joshua's got four. One, two, three, four. As in half of eight. Joshua's got four world titles and there's five world titles. Wilder's got one. Joshua's got four. So Dillian White's offered five and a half million pound to fight somebody at Wembley Stadium. Five and a half million at Wembley Stadium. Four belts, the heavyweight championship of the world. <coughs> the heavyweight championship of the world. Knocked it back to fight Oscar Rivers. 
for no belt. Who is Oscar Rivers? Nobody'd ever heard of him. So we fight Oscar Rivers, we beat him, fair enough. But you could have fought Anthony Joshua for the heavyweight championship of the world in a rematch from a fight that were a good fight first time. But you knocked it back. Uh, I'm not much of a businessman. I'm, I don't know much about business, but if you're offered over five million pounds to fight Anthony Joshua in front of ninety thousand people at Wembley for four belts and there's only five belts in boxing at heavyweight Joshua's got four, it's a rematch, you hate him but you're going to fight Oscar Rivers can somebody tell, well, why did he fight him, why? what he worried that if he fought him and he lost what he worried if he fought him and he lost that Eddie Hearn would take him off at pay per view roster because I don't think he would because he's built his profile up you see Dillian White's a smart cookie he gets it the kid's saying he's his brother whether he is or he ain't it doesn't matter does it the kid obviously knows he's boxing but Dean White gets it he gets it he's, he's advising Shaq and Peter he's not his manager because he's not got a managing licence he's advising the kid and the, the, the kid's doing well so he knows he's, bo he knows he's boxing doesn't he so that's good. He gets his son out there. Dillian gets his son out there. But Dillian White is not suing the WBC and he's got an opportunity cost. Two. Is it two? We, I spoke to some people in the industry and they said the WBC have messed up on two points of the WBC rule book. But Dillian White is not enforcing that. Now, person I work for, Dennis Hobson. Clinton Woods for Roy Jones. Dennis had a battle behind the scenes to get that fight. Roy Jones was the biggest, biggest name in boxing at the time. Roy Jones was the biggest name in boxing. They fought in Oregon in America and Roy Jones was pound for pound the number one in Ring Magazine. Across the board he was the man. Clinton Woods, WBC. Dennis got him into position. And I can assure you, if they'd have messed Dennis about with that fight, Dennis would have had lawyers on their ass. You even heard it on the on the interview that I did with him on, at Christmas. Now, Dillian White's a multi-millionaire now, multi-soufly, swimming in Cho Chai. Multi-millionaire, Dillian White. Cheers, Dan the Man, for whiskey. Now... Dillian White's a millionaire, why ain't he enforcing the WBC position? If that were Josh Whale with IBF, I can assure you, big lawyers from Leeds would be on their ass. Then he said, have a he just set lawyers on him and he'd make him pay fee. No messing about. Josh Whale would be fighting Warrington. If they're only messing about with lawyers, bump, bump, bump. Dillian White, well no, well, well, how many fights are we up to now where we've been hearing Wilder's next, Wilder's next? Dillian White, in my opinion, can fight. He's a tough kid. He gives it all that. Nobody dare say a word to him nearly because he gives off that violence vibe. He's got that violence vibe, hasn't he? And he's got his big six foot eight, 21 stone brother next to him. Nobody dare say a word. Well, let me tell you this. I'll go on record now. Dillian, you don't want to fight Wilder. And I've got my mate. Ooh lives in Sheffield and he knows Wilder and I'm telling you now Wilder will fight Dillian White in a heartbeat Dillian you don't want to fight Deontay Wilder if you want to fight Deontay Wilder get your solicitor to draft a letter saying you're taking WBC to court and I guarantee you that I guarantee you that fight will be made in a heartbeat You've had plenty of opportunity to fight Wilder. Eddie Hearn made you an offer and you nearly signed for we Al Heyman after, after you knocked it back. Eddie Hearn made you an offer to fight at Wembley, at Wembley, in front of 90,000 over 5 million quid for four belts. The heavyweight championship of the world. And Dillian White knocked it back. So if you're going to knock that back, why would you fight for Wilder for one belt? If you're knocking four belts back, 
You're not going to fight for one belt, are you? Don't keep saying you want to fight for world titles, Dillian. People in the media, the YouTubers and all the people around Eddie Hearn don't say a word. They don't say a word. To Eddie Hearn, or he has Anthony Lever or Frank Smith, stop your press pass. They will block you from every show. You get to 20,000 YouTube subscribers, you end up like boxing with AD. You get a press pass to Saudi. That's what happens. And then after that, you promote all things matchroom and you hammer everything Queensbury. That's what happens. And anybody like me who questions the status quo, they're sending emails into YouTube. They're sending emails to my sponsors. They send death threats, they do anything. This is the boxing in the UK, it's the boxing industry. But I'm still here and I haven't even started. And if I didn't have no sponsors, so what? I'd fund my channel and this myself. So let me tell you that. All right. Come here. You alright, Rock? Come here, we kiss, we kiss. Alright. If you want loyalty, Frank Warren's mate, or ex mate, what's he called? Mickey Duff once said, if you want loyalty, get a dog. Look at that, they don't answer back, They're not like women, you know. They don't answer back. Oh, and, and they love you for who you are, don't you? We don't need big pit bulls around me and Rottweilers and all that. I've had a Rottweiler called Buster. Moral of the story is this, when is Dillian White going to fight somebody? I'm not saying with a heartbeat because he's got decent wins, Parker, Brown, Rivers, all decent wins aren't they? Lewinson, they're all decent but they're not Wilder or Joshua are they or Fury? Dillian White's got to fight Wilder, Joshua, Fury. Eddie Hearn? Right, Eddie Hearn has got Usek on his books. Dillian White doesn't even mention his name. He's got Hergovic. Dillian White doesn't mention his name. He doesn't mention Joyce's name. He doesn't mention Dubois's name. Why is that? Why is that? But nobody dare pull him up on it. We're talking about a kid here, British champion, WBC number one. But yeah, he's not throwing challenges out to anybody. If he can't get the Wilder fight, and he don't want the Joshua fight because of contract issues. Fight the next best guys. Go down the list. Lewis Ortiz. Ergovic. Joe Joyce. Debar. Hungry Lions. Dillian. You're supposed to be the can man. Anyone who wants can get it. Dillian. You are the can't man. Anyone who wants it can't get it. Get it? Dillian the Can't Man White. Dillian, come see me. Give me a ring. You had your people ring me when I said Parker White weren't pay-per-view, eh? Hey, I got that wrong. What a fantastic fight and I paid for it and it was a great fight. But let me tell you this, I don't want to hear all this about Wilder. Dak Squad! Dak Squad! I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, Dillian. Dean White, all you people around us. I don't want to hear it. You knocked back Joshua over five million. And you've knocked back Wilder. Now, you're going to say you didn't, but we know you did. If you didn't knock it back, why aren't you suing them? You've got millions of pounds. We keep hearing about big high powered lawyers from Barry Hearn having a tete a tete. Old Bazza. Buzzing Baz, 40 cans of Stella a day. Dillian, set your lawyers on Wilder and make the fight. Joshua's another one they're calling Wilder out. He's tied up with Fury for the next 12 months. It's a load of crap. What's that? It feels, what was that then? In bed. Is that your dog collar? Come here, put it on. Well, like it were bugged then or something. Oh, it needs charging. It needs charging, Rocky. Oh, it doesn't. Come here, it's charged. It means it's charged. 
Come here, I'll put it on. There you go, Rocky. You're all blinged up now. You're all blinged up like your dad. Here, here, watch this. You know when your dog, right? When your dog, when your dog loves you, right? He lets you stroke his belly. Oh. Look, he lets you stroke his belly, look. That's when he that's when he loves you, isn't it Rocky? Isn't it? But yeah, I don't wanna hear any I don't wanna hear. Twenty-five minutes, four minutes, four and a half minutes. I don't wanna hear any of this. Well the ducky mate, WBC of dogs and slags and all that. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it no more. Dillian White has had ample opportunity to fight Deontay Wilder. Not one legal letter has gone to the WBC or Deontay Wilder. Not one or Al Heyman. In fact, Dillian White had a meeting with Al Heyman not long ago. Come on. Come on. If you can fight, I'm not saying that your Povetkins and your Oscar Rivers and Michael Hunters are, 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 are not very good fighters. They're not bad, are they, Bert? You can't say you're the can man, WBC number one and British champion, and then not go for Caballel, the European champion, they ain't got the belt now, and not go for Wilder Joshua when you get offered it. He got offered millions to fight Joshua and knocked it back at Wembley. Are you having a laugh? What are we in boxing for here? Who's Dillian White's manager? He manages himself. If you had a manager, somebody advising him, fair enough. But it's his own decision, look. Joshua were there for the taking, and do you know what? Dillian White's got the beating of Joshua. He fought him unfit with a bad shoulder. He's now, f well, he won't fit for the last fight, but Mark Tibbs will have him fit for the next one. And his shoulder's all right, and he's a better fighter. He's gone 10-0 with Mark Tibbs. He can beat Joshua. He can beat him, but why Why we have all this politics? It drive me mad. Look, Dillian White, I can't take him serious if he don't fight Joshua or Wilder this year. If he don't fight them, he's got to fight Usyk, who's an Eddie Hearn fighter, or Hergovic. Oh, that's it with me. Hergovic, Usyk, Joshua, Wilder, that's it. Or Ortiz, them five. Dillian White's got to fight them five. If it ain't any of them five, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in Parker rematch. I'm not interested in Oscar Rivers rematch and I'm not interested in Del Boy f f trilogy because Del Boy was shot to bits on his knees after that Monaco lost to Caballel. Nobody there go near Caballel! <sighs> so, that's what was my car keys, Rocky. That's how I look at it. So, do you know what I mean? It's just one of them things, isn't it? It's one of them things. There, I've got uh, matching. Uh, I've got matching doodah, do not I? I dropped one of these, you know, once, and it knackered it up. I had to pay a fortune now, so I get one of these covers on it now. But we're uh, not rocking back in about twenty minutes. No, this is how I look at it. Dillian White, 28 minutes, he's got to fight Ergovic, Ortiz, Usek, he's got to fight them, Wilder or Joshua. Or Fury, them six, he's got to fight them six. Fury's tied up this year, so he's Ergovic and Usek. He's got to fight them. If it ain't Usek, it's got to be Ergovic or He's got to fight Dubois. Dubois would be pay-per-view or Joyce. He's got to take a chance. He can't keep fighting these Oscar Rivers and Malcolm Tans and Chisora trilogies and that. Or Parker rematch. I don't want to see it. And what's David Higgins got on Eddie Hearn? He's a whore, that David Higgins. Jesus. Just because they've got a bit of telly in New Zealand. He's a whore, him, David Higgins. But it is what it is, isn't it? So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Keep supporting it, it's the best sport in the world. So, shout out to all them people from America who sent me all them uh, 
Emails, shout out to my video, Dante Wilder Rob. Go check my channel, my third best video, Dante Wilder video, it's doing really good. Shout out Robin Reed Vitamins, Innovation Alloy, South Yorkshire back is in. Peace out, keep on trucking.